Hi, it's Chester Tubwell at Blue PK and Computer Training. In this video, I want to show you how to use checkboxes on your charts to show or hide series. So just to give you an example, I've got a median line here and a target line. And if I tick these little checkbox, it'll show or hide those lines. Okay, so let's see how this is done. To get the checkboxes on your chart, you'll need to show the developer tab in your ribbon. If it's not showing, right click on an existing tab, go to customize the ribbon, and then in this dialog box, you just need to tick this developer tick box, and then click on OK, and the developer tab will show on your ribbon. Now, once you're on the developer tab, go to the insert menu, and you want to choose the checkbox control, which is this one. So what you do is you click on that, then click somewhere in your chart or above your chart, and then you can give the little checkbox a label. So what I'll do is I'll say this is the checkbox for showing the median value on my chart. And then you're going to do the same for showing the uh, target. So you add another checkbox. So I'll go up to here, choose the checkbox control, click in here and then I'll delete the default text and I'm going to say show target as the label. Okay, so I end up with two checkboxes. Now you can align these fairly easily. Right click, drag. If I select both, if I hold down control, right click on the other one, I can go up to format up here, align, align left. And then I could group them as well. And then I can, oh, should better drag that group over. Once I get hold of it, I can drag it over there. Okay. Now all these controls allow you to output a, output a value. Uh, checkboxes, combo boxes, or whatever. So with the checkbox, what I can do if I right click on the checkbox, choose format control. We get these options here and what it gives you is this uh, field called cell cell link now the checkbox will return either true or false and i'm going to output that to this cell here for the median column and then for show target right click format control i'm going to output that to this column here now you'll see how it works. If I tick median, it says true there. And if I tick target, it says true there. And if I untick it, it says false. So you either get a true or false there. Now the trick is, is that um, we're going to write a little if statement for the median series, the median values here. So if this is true, I want to show the median value in all the rows, which will give us the line. And say for target, I want to show the target value if this says true. But if it doesn't say true, I want to return the NA error. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because charts don't display NA values. So basically the line will disappear. So I'm gonna write an if statement for this column. So if logical test will just be a reference to this cell here, true or false. So if true, I want to return the median value. Otherwise, I want to return NA. So I can do that with the NA function. Now before I copy down, I need to fix my reference to the true false output and my reference also to the median value needs to be fixed. So if I copy this down, at the moment these are all NAs, but if I tick this box here, I'd get the median value showing. Now it's showing the line here. Um, if your chart doesn't automatically pick that up, you will have to go to design, select data, and add a new series. At the moment, my chart range includes this median column. You could actually just through this option here, just select all the cells. 
or you can go to add add a new series name so that would be that and series values would be here and I'll end up with two so I'll remove that but that's essentially how you'd add the series but you can see essentially now if I use this checkbox it ticks or unticks uh, displays or doesn't display this median line so let's do it again for target just for practice so another if so you're saying this is your logical test, true or false. Value of true is the target. Value of false is their name. And you need to fix these two references and copy it down. And then if I tick this, it shows the target line. Otherwise it doesn't show it. So two little tricks there. One is the NA error. I don't know whether you realize that or not, but you have an NA error, it doesn't display in a chart. And then also, excuse the cat in the background, also you've got this little tick box, tick box option that returns true or false at the top there. Okay, thanks very much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.